Tiger, next fighter ready to make his way to the cage tonight, fighting out of the red corner, Josh, the Sandman Stansberg. Here in Chester, West Virginia, we are just across the river. We must be no more than a mile and a half away from East Liverpool, Ohio. That is the hometown of this man, Josh Stansberry. I think he has a lot of friends and family here. He will have the crowd. Stansberry set to make his Bellator debut. This fight, even though it is under our Bellator banner, will be for the NAAFS light heavyweight title scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Stansberry is the challenger. Stansbury said he thinks that his opponent, Dan Spawn, will try to overwhelm him early. He wants to clinch Spawn and he wants to put him against the fence and try to slow down the pace. Now, not the first time we've had the championship for another organization in Bellator. We like working with local promotions. This is one of those instances. Stansbury faced Dan Spawn. The two fighters met November of 2009. It was the pro debut for Spawn, for Stansbury, his second pro fight. It was Spawn victorious by way of second round submission via the rear naked choke. Stansbury said, clearly, I thought I won round number one. Spawn, of course, saw it differently. He thought he pretty much <laughs> controlled the fight. Interesting how they both saw the end. Spawn said, I hit him hard. He didn't like it. He went for the shot, and I choked him out. Stansbury said, I slipped. He caught me in a choke, and that's where he got the tap. You know, we often hear, you know, from fighters that uh, have fought before and are rematching totally different versions of the same fight. Not a rare thing for us, Sean. What I will tell you is that both fighters believe they have the psychological advantage in this rematch, something we often that, hear. That is something we hear all the time, too. Stansbury saying, I've seen Spawn at his best and I'm a lot better. And Spawn saying, I beat him once, I'm going to beat him again. support. He's facing a local kid, Josh Stansbury, from very nearby East Liverpool, Ohio. Spawn defending his title. You see it walking behind him in his entourage. He is the NAAFS 205-pound champion. And again, this fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Spawn physically very talented, very explosive, aggressive. How will he handle psychologically a rematch for the title? You see his coach, George Kurzel. That's how Brazilians psych you up. They slap you in the face and they start yelling. Works for a lot of guys. It's all about intensity with George Kurzel. Sponsored it with Kurzel, Jimmy. He's A 
Bellator fight in the light heavyweight division. Josh Stansberry versus Dan Spawn. Again, this is scheduled for five five-minute rounds for Spawn's NAAFS light heavyweight title. Round number one. Stansberry is in the blue trunks. Spawn is in the red trunks. The always excellent Jason Herzog is the referee. Spawn, true to his word, is starting off aggressively. Fighters haven't lied to us that much tonight. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised by that. This is a very honest part of the country. <laughs> I'm from L.A. I have no idea what you're talking about. Spawn saying that's a low kick recognized by referee Jason Herzog who calls time. Spawn now has five minutes to recover. Oh, that looked good to me, Sean. I want to take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he didn't hit the side of the cup for sure. Not an egregious shot. Not worth taking a point. Yeah. That foot hit the cup. But you can see he was aiming for the five. right hand. 
Yeah, very true. Gaspar, ton of heart, still in the fight, going for the takedown, but that's the thing. Josh Stansbury just not letting him off the hook. These two fighters very friendly, both from the state of Ohio. Will we see the third fight between these two? Spawn winning the first in 2008, November, I beg your pardon, November of 2009. Here June 22nd of 2012, Josh Stansbury wins the rematch. Let's go to Michael Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the guillotine brings on the tap official time. Two minutes, 36 seconds into round number one. The winner by submission. win for Josh Stansberry. Spawn said he wanted the fast start, but it was Stansberry that really had the high motor in this fight. He certainly did. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And he finished incredibly well with this guillotine. Beautiful placement, good hip pressure, and tenacity. That's how you win the fight. The winner by way of first round submission, Josh Stansberry defeats Dan Spawn. you're watching us on multiple online digital platforms, YouTube, GameTrailers.com.